This video contains content sponsored by John Wilson Blades and MK Blades. Opinions discussed in this video do not reflect the views of John Wilson or MK. Yeah, I think, um, you know, like yesterday, uh, this whole season we've had really solid performances and we've been trying really hard to make them better each and every time. And, you know, I think uh, it just, we tried a little too hard again and it's okay, it happens. Um, we're learning from it and I think it, made, it was really difficult because we only skated once on this rink. Um, but again, that's not anyone else's problem but ours. Um, but I think we did as best we could. Uh, could have done better, could have done worse, could have got hurt, <laughs> could have fallen more times, so it's a learning process. So just put, put this one behind you and start Absolutely. About the Learn from it. We've done leaps and bounds this year already, breaking personal best at every single event, and uh, really proud of what we've been able to do so far, and things happen. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Put all together in the process and show. I asked about Nathan, my... Jen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want him? That's my heart. <laughs> that's my heart, yes. Really? Oh. You feel that strongly I, about I him? I just love him. So, we know he's first a jumper. Moment, Sorry, go ahead. Start work with him from first moment. I start to love him. I don't know just how he looks, how his. And how his desire is, his eye, like uh, attitude, I, I don't know, just love him. When was that? When did he first come to um, you? It was in the April. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he came in the April and I did just a choreography. And then he came back um, in the summer mm -hmm. to improve his skating skills and work for performance. Then fall, full fall we was with all of us and we work. And before nationals, two weeks after, Let's say after the final Grand Prix, mm -hmm. two weeks he was in there. So, uh, altogether two, six weeks uh, maybe? Mm, that he's been there? More. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, more. More than two months. More than two yeah, months. More, more, so, more. But, okay. Yeah, more. Yeah, all together. So, yeah. So, can he win the Olympic gold medal? <laughs> Everyone can win the Olympic gold medal, but he probably closer <laughs> than anybody else. But you've seen you've seen a lot in skating. Yeah. Where where do you rank his potential? The, what could happen for him? It could happen the the best what athletes can have. He can actually win everything. It depends on his uh, condition, body condition, health, and how manage. Everything because he is so talented for everything, not just for jump. Jump incredible, but also he related with music very well, and he have a character. He, he have a character, personality very strong. And when uh, he actually, I didn't know. I just the thing will be great ballet piece for him because I just saw and I want to create for him something totally different than everyone have right now. You know, like just the first year in the senior competition, that's why I beat ballet music. But when I started tour, it was so easy because he um, did ballet, I mean, he studied in the ballet school in the Mississippi City. And also the musician, that's why it works so well. It's very rare to see a kid who yeah, jumps yes, like that, who, when you say and, the word, it's easy to teach And plus the dancing, and plus the dancing related with music, feel, feel the character of music feeling of music. If 100% is the best, you know, artist of all time on, on ice, where is he? Is he at 50%? Is he at 25% of where he could be someday with working with you? What do you think? Well, you'll see, definitely it's not the final, <laughs> I mean, his right. performance, and he will grow with each program, and actually from competition to competition, he's doing better and better, better and better, more involved to performance, and now for me, looks like he enjoyed the fall. Before, it looks like he just um, enjoyed to jump. Now you can see how he enjoyed performing his pose, you know, just the pose, the, how he doing accent with the music, with full of pleasure, full of, you know, emotional. That's why it's such audience, his movement. So that's very, very important for figure, I mean, for figure skating because the athlete, athletism and artistism. How do you compare where uh, he is to where Patrick is right now? Do you think Nathan is moving ahead of Patrick? Uh? 
well results talk about that because the jumps of course he did first in the world who did in the short program and he did in the short program and the long program in the November in the Paris like uh, quad yeah. lots and quad to uh, triple toe combination and quad flip in the post program so it was November it was actually was introduction for season does he so, remind you? I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I wanted to know how you got him to really improve his performance from Paris, from the Grand Prix Final to now. He really has more confidence, more showmanship, yeah, much more yeah. interaction with the audience. You know, what kind of work did you do with him? Well, the first of all, um, of course, he worked with the Raphael for his jump, for it give him confidence as well. You know, consistency of the jump and technique stuff. And plus, give them. I, I just try um, him love what he do. Mm -hmm. You know, make him love what he do. That's all. Now the Shibutani's are always very consistent. Do you think that they can break out of the box to really have that extra speed that we saw from Marilyn Charlie, from Tessa and Scott to really compete with them? Because it doesn't appear that they let loose in the same way on the ice as your other teams have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How much fun are you having with Nathan Chen? Oh, this son, I so much miss him when he's not there. <laughs> because, I mean, he's young and very, very energetic. And I told you, he has a great personality, a just unique personality. Does he remind you of anyone you either you've worked with or anyone in skating at all that you remember? No, unique, unique boy. It is a diamond, United States diamond, Nathan. That's what Nathan it is. Yeah. And the figure skater. This is going to be fun. Oh man, what is it? Um, we've got lots of people there. I think that uh, we started the party as well. Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, not letting that any real nerves get to us. And it was just something super strange. Like that it caught me off guard. And uh, did a pretty good job of uh, keeping it together after that. Um, which is a testament to our training. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, today, unfortunately, is a big disappointment for Zach and I. Still on the podium, though. Any consolation there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. We came in with the goal of moving up, ending our bronze run circuit, and it doesn't look like that's what's going to happen. So, uh, no, no, uh, no consolation there at all. Um, but we're determined to bring in the continental world, so this is the last time we'll be defeated like this. And we'll come back stronger. Do you feel like it's been easier for you to compete internationally than nationally? I mean, it seems like the judges really respond to you on the international level. Uh, I think that for many people, they feel more at home um, in the U.S., the U.S. skaters. Uh, for us, I think it's really equal. Uh, maybe it's due to the fact that we train a lot with international skaters. Um, but I think that our style is really appreciated internationally and uh, our aesthetic so yeah we definitely feel just at home on the international circuit and and we're looking forward to going and competing again so for this press conference featuring the ice dance medalists at the 2017 u.s championships to my right winners of the gold medal maya and alex shibatani winners of the silver medal madison chalk and evan bates and winners of the bronze medal madison hubble and zachary donahue We'll start with an opening statement and then we'll take a few questions. Maya and Alex. We were very happy with our skating this week in Kansas City. It's really exciting for us to head into the second half of the season <coughs> as national champions and we're looking forward to it. Maddie Bennett. This felt like a really special performance for us tonight. Um, it felt like we gave it our all and we're really happy with how we skated. We couldn't have pushed ourselves any harder, and we're very happy that we were able to do this in Kansas City. The crowd has been wonderful, and it was great. It was great. And it's back. It was great. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> it wasn't our day, uh, my day in particular. Uh, just a funny fluke moment, but uh, I just want to say thanks to Zach for being a really fabulous partner and uh, I think that we were able to finish strong and I think 
my lucky stars to have a partner that can help me through a moment like that. We'll open up to questions. Taylor has a microphone. Yeah. In terms of at least, at least in terms of results, and today you got so close and showed so much improvement from the Grand Prix final. Uh, is it motivating and disappointing, or equal parts both, that you were so close to the title? I think. I think it hasn't been a terribly disappointing season for us. I, I think a lot of times we get hung up on results and uh, it doesn't really truly reflect how our skating has grown and how our partnership has evolved. And I think, you know, if we, if we watch, um, watch the progression of our skating over the last even 12 months, we'd be really pleased with it. Um, I think this was our best competition probably to date. Um, and. It, it feels really good to be sitting up here and, and having accomplished that because when we came into the competition, we really just set performance goals for ourselves. That's what we always do, and we would have loved to, to recapture our national title, but um, it didn't happen for us, but we're still really proud of the performances that we put out this week, and um, we'll be back next year. So. <laughs> Where did that come from? Did you step in a rut or just catch an edge? No, it was just a, a fluke moment. I'll have to, of course, watch the video. Um, but basically, I I just caught my my blade, caught the toe pick, and uh, as you say, I was pretty surprised. One second I was up, and the next I was down. <laughs> so I just tried to uh, keep going and, and do like we had trained at home and. Yeah, there's really no explanation for, for moments like that. We'll go home and, and work harder, and we'll see you guys at Four Continents. Rohin, you want to take it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, you know, really, Maddie and I are sort of still finding our way. It's our fifth year together. I don't know, even, but it still feels like you know, we have a lot of room for growth and a lot of untapped potential, and I think sometimes in order to find something that hasn't been done before, you need to bring in someone who hasn't done it in that discipline before. So, you know, to be outside the box, you need to think outside the box, and Rohin is definitely representative of that way of thinking. Uh, we love working with him. He's so talented, it's ridiculous, and um, he's fit right in at our rank in Novi, and we'll have him anytime Corey will lend him. <laughs>